Something's gonna have to hit this. Senko. I'm gonna tell this video the world record fastest time catching a fish. Watch. Missed it, missed. Got one. That's not a I don't know, it has a huge mouth. It's black. What do you think of uh uh? Like that? It's two of them. Good bass. What? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Two down. Two to nothing. I'm gonna let this little guy go. They're hitting on the Senkos, dude. You need to throw one of those Senkos. Tiny one. That was good footage right there. Yes! No! Oh my, that was big. I'll tell you right now that was big. Wait, it got off? Yeah, I think my hook's too small. But that was big. That thing pulled it, it went like this. Yeah, Throw that down here. Oh yeah, that jig head will work. I might throw it. I might throw that jig head on for the swim bait. Or the fish are too tiny. Here we go. I'm taking for about eight seconds and jerk. Cause I am a uh, what you call a professional YouTube angler. What is that? Three. So you guys, you want to come to my uh, neighborhood, about $10 an hour, teach you guys how to fish. All right, everybody, so the footage we shot was pretty cool, and I thought it was a great day of fishing. Um, before we got there, it rained a lot, so that played a key role because when you see that dam over there, um, to the, like the two ponds, like I said, there's bait fish in that other pond um, with bluegill and all that and then our bass. So the tiny bait fish from the smaller pond get uh, swept up by the current and go down the little spillway to the other, the bigger pond where we're fishing. And basically the bass just sit there on the end of the spillway and wait for bait fish. So there's probably at least about 35 to 40 in my estimation of bass stacked up there. So we basically kept throwing like swim baits, um, Mainly Cinco was the one that was a thing that worked. Um, I caught about, th uh, I think I had like five fish on the Cinco, and the other guys had like three, so a total of eight. So um, it was a pretty good day of fishing, and it wasn't like we had to wait like five to ten minutes to catch a fish. We caught one within like two minutes or a minute, we caught another one. Just because they're all stacked up there, and that's what you want to do is find where the bait fish are, and if they're coming from one pond to another down the spillway, Go to that spot where the water's running and make sure you throw it in the current. That's where the bass are seen waiting for an easy meal. So that was that. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, it's, it, it is nice weather here now. I know it rained yesterday, but the rest of the week, about next four to five days, it's not supposed to rain. So I might go to the river and stuff, see if I can hook up something there. And it's supposed to be around 70 degrees, so it's going to be pretty warm, pretty good fishing. Um, so I want to say again, thanks for watching my videos and do me a favor, go outside today, catch big fish, have a good day.